Hey, it's Coach Josh here, Training for Warriors, and I'm talking to you today about cheating, and not cheating at Scrabble or cheating at a, um, at a game, but cheating on your diet. And this is something that I hear people talk a lot about, cheat meals, and like, when do I get to cheat, and what are your cheat foods? And um, I, I understand what they mean by that, but I don't know that I, um, I'm connecting with the words the way that they're trying to use them. Like, uh, people, when they, get, they decide to get in shape, they want to feel like they're, they're gonna have an opportunity to live and eat a chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie and, uh, and, not, uh, and not be off program or not um, fall apart. And the thing that I would say is that when you talk about you know, your habits and behaviors in terms of cheating, if you look at what that word really means, it means to violate the agreed upon social code. A vi a violate the agreed upon um, um, uh, sort of rules that your, 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 your community has agreed upon. And I don't think that that is exactly what you're doing when you choose to have a chocolate, kit, chocolate chip cookie or God forbid a beer. No, I actually think that part of living is, is looking at things instead of all or nothing thinking where you're either perfect or you're a failure, it's actually uh, observing literally what you're, what you're doing throughout your life and your day and appreciating what it is that you're putting into your health, your nutrition, and your, your plan. So uh, when, when, I, <clears throat> when I think about food, I actually, I look at what am I adding into my diet and my nutrition plan to create the outcome that I want. I add before I subtract. Just like when you learn mathematics, you gotta, you, you have to learn how to add before you can learn to subtract. Otherwise, the rules don't work. Uh, most of the time, I can accomplish the things that I want by making sure that the right foods are in my my meals. Now, uh, there, are, of course, is a time where I have to pull things out of my diet or make or, or I'll make mindful choices to to not eat certain things. Um, I have a bad habit of eating three or four or five slices of pie. Or uh, maybe I might have you know two or three pints of beer if I'm hanging out with my friends. So I have to know what my, uh, what my sort of gateway drug is when it comes to nutrition, and I have to be able to like, create a buffer around that experience for me so that I don't go overboard when I cheat, if you will. And I think about that as insulating your diet with nutritious choices. So like around the holidays, I eat basically the same way that I always eat. I eat on a schedule, I eat mostly vegetables, uh, protein, you know, a variety, a variety of foods that make me feel good and, and help me get to where I want to go fitness-wise. And then when it comes time for the eggnog, I make sure that I've already, you know, had my dinner, I've already had the on-plan food, and then I have a little bit of, you know, whatever the treat is that I want to enjoy. You know, I like... Um, I like the Christmas ham. I like eggnog. I like a little, a little, a little, a little nib of, uh, of of certain kinds of drinks. But the important part for me is not deciding that because I'm going to, you know, have a treat that I'm not going to do anything on plan. So I'll stay away from that all or nothing thinking of either I'm on diet, I'm off diet. There's a cheat meal. This doesn't count. And I, I just continue to follow the plan, and then I give myself permission to be off plan when I need to. When it, when, when it suits me. And the, the, the issue of that, those little negotiations and determinations, when it suits you, what do you need? What, what, do you, what is your body asking for? What does it mean to you to have um, a, a cocktail or a dessert? You gotta, you gotta check in with yourself and figure out what the experience that you want for the holidays is. And I would argue, or I'd have you consider that you probably want to be able to participate, but you also wanna feel good about it. And that means that it's not black and white, it's gonna, you're gonna be on a spectrum. So plan in advance, make sure that you have those healthy foods available and just decide what you're gonna enjoy and then leave everything else out. That's an idea or a strategy that I have to help me through the holidays so that I do not have to cheat. Coach Josh, Training for Warriors Portland, helping you stay true so you can bring out the warrior within.